guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a full day of eating. I have already had my coffee for the day. I've had my vitamins, my greens. We are good to go. I am going to start off this morning with some protein oats. I haven't had protein oats in a really long time. I like to change things up every once in a while even though I usually stick to my holy grail. It is nice to just change things up so you don't get sick of eating the exact same things every single day. So that's what we're going to start off the morning with. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to see more of these full day of eatings go ahead and let me know in the comments below let's get started with breakfast So excited because I just got my balance package in the mail. This is their new Waves collection that is launching at the end of April. They haven't decided on an exact day yet just because of everything that's going on right now, so I'll definitely keep you posted. I'm actually gonna have up this try-on haul before this full day of eating goes up just because I wanna get this try-on up as soon as possible so you guys can see the pieces, so. This is what's inside. This colorway is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with like blues and teals. This is their new Isla sports bra, which is just gorgeous. And these are the OG pants, which are my favorite pants that Balance has. And then this is the Serene t-shirt, which is the, in the same color as the Isla sports bra. So I will have this try on haul posted. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box and I'll also put a card just on the screen here so you can click that and watch it if you're interested in seeing what these pieces look like on and an in-depth review. So it's been a few hours since I last ate. I ended up going out to the store. I needed to grab a printer for us since Chris is working from home now. So I went and grabbed that and then I stopped at Walmart just to grab a few groceries. The grocery stores are crazy right now. It's so weird being in a grocery store and having to like avoid people and stand like meters back from people. It's just so crazy and I know that we're just taking those precautions but the grocery store just is like I don't know, it just, it's, I feel like it's really eerie. But I ended up finding something really, really yummy at the grocery store. I've seen these before at Costco. I've only seen the meat ones at Costco and the macros on them weren't amazing. Obviously there's meat in them, so they're higher in fat and just not as much protein as these ones. These ones are made with egg whites, which I love. Let me see if it'll focus, there we go. And the macros on them, it's 100 calories and there's 11 grams of protein, so it's really good. 4.5 grams of fat and 5 grams of carbs. So there is two in this package, I think. Yeah, there's two quiches in here, so I think I'm going to have both of them. Today is such a busy day for me. I'm um, filming for YouTube this full day of eating. I am also editing a YouTube video, caring for Henrik, and it's just kind of a crazy busy day. So easy things like this makes my life so much easier. So I think I'm going to cook up both of these eat this and then that'll tie me over until my next meal. Sometimes throughout the day I'm finding that since Henrik's been born sometimes I just ha kind of have like snacks. I wouldn't say this is like a meal because it's just two quiches. They're a decent size still but I've been having a lot more snacks throughout the day and smaller portions of meals just because it's easier for me to throw that together than to make like a full-blown meal. So this is just a day in the life. Got a workout in, I showered, and now I'm ready to make some lunch. Henrik is sleeping right now, so I'm gonna make a salad just because I'm feeling like I need to get some micronutrients in. I always try to get like a good decent amount of veggies in every single day, and I just feel like I'm lacking a little bit. So I am going to make a giant salad. I basically just throw together anything that's in my fridge, any vegetables that I have. I use my favorite dressing that I'll share with you as well. So that's going to be my late lunch. And then I'm not sure what's in store for dinner yet, but we will figure that out later. I guess since it's a full day of eating, I have to include that I found some mini eggs on the counter, so I've been snacking on some of these. I'm gonna put them away up in the pantry. I find that when I put things away and they're out of sight, that I'm not just like continuously snacking on them, so I'm gonna put them away so I don't see them and then I'll stop eating them. Here is the, my favorite salad dressing. It is so good. For anyone who lives in Canada, I get this from Save On Foods. It's literally my favorite. It's not super low calorie, but it's so good and it 
helps me eat more salads. And then I'll show you all the things that I'm adding into my salad. Here are all the goodies I'm adding into today's salad. So I'm gonna do some field greens. I just have extra under there. I'm gonna probably chop up some snap peas, throw those in. I found some prosciutto, which prosciutto just has such good flavor. So I think I'm going to chop up a little bit of this and put it in as well. Some onion, cucumber, carrots, pickles in salad is so, so good. And then I'm also going to have this salmon as my protein source. is just putting Henrik down to bed right now and then together we're gonna make a pasta dish. We're thinking we're gonna do something like a shrimp and scallop pasta dish with either like a butter or an oil sauce and then some garlic. So I'm really excited, it sounds so good. Chris is definitely a better cook than me so whatever he has in mind is kind of what we're gonna go with. But as far as having like things like carbohydrates, a lot of times carbs get a really bad reputation and that's typically just because people over consume carbs. Just remember, you can eat pasta, you can eat bread, all of these things are fine and it doesn't matter what time of day you're consuming them. Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher in the back, it's running right now. It doesn't matter what time of day you're consuming the carbs, just be mindful of your portion sizes. If you need to, measure out your portion size so that you're aware how many calories and how many carbs you're consuming. If you're having something like spaghetti, you can definitely incorporate like zucchini noodles with it just to add more volume and more micronutrients. Or if you want regular pasta, but you wanna opt for a healthier alternative, you can do something like chickpea pasta, or I've seen black bean pasta, edanami pasta. There's lots and lots of different alternatives out there. So I think we actually might do the chickpea pasta tonight, the Banza brand, just to add a little bit more protein to this meal. But if you just want regular pasta sometimes, that is 100% okay too. seasonings that we ended up putting on the shrimp and the scallops. It is pepper, salt, chili powder, Cajun seasoning, as well as garlic powder. And then we also did some asparagus to put on the side. We unfortunately didn't have any of the chickpea pasta, so we just went with regular pasta. And then I'm also enjoying a glass of wine. And we just finished up eating dinner. We are going to play some games, some board games, because that's what you do while you're social distancing, or that's what we do at least. We love playing board games. But this is my full day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.